The second coming of the S90 sedan and station wagon took place in 2016, and the first generation cars were produced from 1996 to 1998. Thus, the Swedes decided to revive the 90th series. Unlike the vast majority of competitors, the Volvo S90 is sold here in the form of a sedan and an off-road cross-country station wagon, both with front-wheel drive and all four. But the engines are only four-cylinder, with a volume of 2.0 liters, and gasoline, 190, 249 and 320 horses, and diesel engines with a capacity of 190 and 235 horses. They are paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Whatever modification of Volvo you choose, its body will a priori be in perfect condition, unless, of course, the car has been in a serious accident and has not been handicraftly restored after that. The corrosion coating of the Swedes is traditionally strong, and the paintwork is very resistant. In addition, the hood and many elements of the body are made of aluminum, and the time for the appearance of chips and scratches has not yet come. Nevertheless, it does not hurt to check the body with a specialist, since its structure is quite complex and is woven from steels and alloys of different strengths, including aluminum. Therefore, the integrity of the body of the copy you like is a guarantee that it will not fall into expensive repairs in the future. After all, the hood of the S90-V90 is also made of winged metal. If environmental influences are not able to harm the car, then the chemicals that are poured in excess on Russian roads can do their job. Road salt clouded and stained chrome elements, causing unpleasant ulcers on the beautiful and stately body of the S90-V90, which is why the car does not look so neat. Although Volvo cars react much more painlessly to corrosion attacks, unlike Asian and even European cars, but sometimes there are complaints about a quickly scratched windshield and wipers sticking with ice and heavy snowfall. Although, by and large, all these are trifles that are found on many modern, and sometimes not the cheapest, foreign cars. But about half of the owners of 90 spoke about unimportant sound insulation. Like, such a weak shumka is not befitting a premium segment car. However, we can fix this. It is only necessary to decide on additional work to increase sound insulation and find an amount of 30 to 50,000 rubles. Another nuisance that owners of the Volvo S90-V90 periodically encounter is weak headlight mounts. It is even worth gently touching the bumper to a snowdrift or other obstacle, and then it's time to go to the service for repairs. Well, if the dealer recognizes this as a warranty case. Otherwise, you will have to splurge on a new bumper along with painting. This is how the defect is corrected at the official service. They say that our Culebins have learned to restore this not cheap body element, and for a penny. It's not known exactly how long it will last. Finishing materials are of good quality and even on five-year-old cars, the interior usually looks like new. Of course, if he was looked after appropriately. However, with a careful study of the interior, the age of the car is given out by a worn steering wheel and armrest. Over the years, the skin of the driver's seat is deformed, and the heavier the owner, the earlier this begins to appear. As for onboard electronics, various glitches and failures can occur here too, multimedia has succeeded the most in this, which either suddenly starts to live its own life, or works properly for a long time. The climate control can go berserk, which begins to alternate portions of hot and cold air, and in the heat it suddenly turns on the stove at full power, the alarm is also buggy, which, in the guard mode, can open all windows or unlock door locks. There is a lot of electronics in the car, which, in general, does not have the most positive effect on the reliability of the S90 as a whole. But the engines of the Drive E series have not yet been bothered by problems and have proven to be quite durable despite the downsizing. Both diesels and gasoline turbo engines have the same volume of 2.0 liters, but a different degree of forcing. So, for example, gasoline power units with a return of 190, 249 and 320 forces are essentially the same engine with turbocharging and direct fuel injection, but with different boost pressure and firmware of the electronic control unit. Moreover, the more powerful one, in addition to the turbine, is also equipped with a drive supercharger powered by a crankshaft. All three motors comply with Euro 6 environmental standards. The petrol trinity showed itself from the best side. Although in our operating conditions there is a tendency for valves to become fouled with soot. In vain, dealers advise reducing the service interval from the official 20,000 kilometers to 10 to 15,000. It will not be worse. Of the problems, one can single out a rupture of the turbocharger nozzles, failures of oxygen and mass air flow sensors, 
ignition coils, and a fuel pump. The throttle body and the EGR exhaust gas return system need periodic cleaning. Diesel engines are also reliable. No wonder most S90 owners prefer heavy fuel modifications. At the same time, engines are demanding on fuel quality and timely maintenance. Engine oil is recommended to be changed every 10,000 kilometers on average. After 150,000 to 180,000 kilometers, the fuel priming pump may be capricious, 65,000 rubles. On diesel engines, as well as on gasoline engines, the EGR valve is periodically contaminated. To extend its life, it is necessary to clean the valve and pipe from dirt and soot every 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers. The procedure is not cheap, from 800 rubles. In big cities, the diesel particulate filter clogs up quite quickly, which will be indicated by a control signal on the dashboard. In this case, you need to drive at medium speeds for about a couple of hours on a suburban highway. In this mode, the filter clogged with combustion products is self-cleaning. And further, for all engines, both gasoline and diesel, dealers offered proprietary chip tuning from Polestar with a guarantee and a small, approximately 5 to 10% increase in power and torque. Ask the seller if he chipped the internal combustion engine of his car. And if yes, then where? The fact is that there are many offers on the market with such a service from gray dealers and sellers with a dubious reputation. An incorrectly carried out tuning can disable not only the control unit, but also the engine itself. In general, the only 8-speed automatic of the Japanese company Eisen Warner, which is the only possible for the S90, turned out to be hassle-free. However, complaints about jolts and kicks during acceleration were quite common at first. Dealers reprogrammed the box control unit, and the problem went away. In order for the automatic transmission to live for a long time and without loss, make it a rule to renew the oil in it every 60 to 80,000 kilometers. At the same time, the gearbox, transfer case, and the Haldex clutch itself in the all-wheel drive transmission are subject to lubrication. By a run of 150,000 kilometers, check the condition of the CV joints and the internal, grenade, by this run it usually is at the end of its resource, make a diagnosis of the drive shaft crosses and the outboard bearing. Approximately the same period, 150,000 kilometers, can be called critical for the chassis. From this moment, the first significant replacements in the independent suspension will begin when the front levers and shock absorbers are asked to rest. Although for some owners and with high mileage, the chassis is in pristine condition. In general, the chassis elements are long-lived, although they are made of aluminum alloy. But the original parts are quite expensive. For example, a set of assembled levers on the S90 costs about 25,000 rubles. And often it is enough to replace only the silent blocks of the levers which in a non-original design can be found for 2,000 rubles. This we mean that with a balanced approach, you can save a lot when repairing the chassis. The steering rack can knock at 100,000 kilometers of run and even earlier, or it may not show signs of wear up to one and a half hundred thousand kilometer. In addition, it is possible to purchase a restored rail for about 25,000 rubles in exchange for a worn one. It is better to immediately change the steering car dan to a new and original one, such a part has a much higher resource. As you can see, the Volvo S90 is simply made to be bought secondhand. This strong and durable car has a high resource, and the body is indifferent to corrosion. It is endowed with a horse-drawn suspension and a reliable transmission. We hope that the engines will also be long-lived, so far there is no particular trouble with them. The premium sedan and the off-road station wagon are noticeably cheaper than their competitors, and they also lose their price faster which makes them very profitable when buying used ones.